Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about shoulders and how they function, which will help you figure out why you have pain and also how to reduce pain or not have pain and keep you out of trouble. My name is Liz. I'm a physical therapist at Blue Ridge Biomechanics, whitewater kayaker and mountain biker. So shoulders, how do they function? They are what we call a ball and socket. So you have your ball and you have your socket. Well, the ball is very large, the socket is very small. And so if you try to put those two together, they're not really gonna stick. And so what you have is you have your rotator cuff. It's four different muscles that come from behind your socket. They, they are on your shoulder blade, okay? Your socket's attached to your shoulder blade. And then they come over and attach to your ball. That sucks your ball into the socket and keeps it there. So then you can move everywhere with it. That's why the rotator cuff is so important and why everybody has issues if they have a rotator cuff problem. Now, everybody focuses on the rotator cuff, but that's not all of it. You have a lot of other things going on. You have 17 muscles that cross over and help with your shoulder complex. It's called the complex because it is complex. 17 muscles. Oh my gosh. So what you also have is your shoulder blade. That's what I said where your rotator cuff muscles lie. That's where they originate from. But you also have to connect your shoulder blade back to your body so it can have strength and control. Well, you do that mostly by muscles, your shoulder blade muscles. These guys. These guys are the most important bang for your buck to help your shoulder joint. You have pain here, you need to focus on your shoulder blade muscles. The next thing in, in order and line up of things to look at is your core, your trunk. If you can't rotate your body, if you can't move, then you are going to put extra pressure on your shoulder. If I'm gonna reach out, I can reach out with my arm or I can twist my body and now my arm doesn't have to reach out quite as far. The farther you have to reach out your arm, especially for kayaking, the more stress you're gonna put on it. And so if you can reach through your body, then you don't have to do as much with just your shoulder. This is where your mid-back stiffness, your mid to upper back stiffness comes in. It's also where your core comes in. Your core plays a huge role in your shoulder. Who would have thought? So know this, know that your core plays a role, know that your mid-back plays a role, know that your shoulder blade muscles play a role, all to support your rotator cuff and your actual shoulders. Think about that for a second. Core, mid-back flexibility, like upper back, and your shoulder blade muscles. We haven't even talked about your rotator cuff. That's just the next piece of the puzzle. And so if you have a rotator cuff issue, you need to focus on these guys. Over the next couple weeks, we're gonna be going over different exercises to help with that. There, if you're on YouTube right now, there might be a link to one hanging out. If you wanna like and follow me, if you're on Facebook, like and follow me. See if you, uh, comment below if you want me to tag you. Um, I can tag you in some groups if I'm friends with you. If not, then ask to be my friend. Cheers, everybody.